Finally, the third topic in terms of the qualities that we are taught is tawakkul or trust in Allah Ta'ala. And there are several ayat in the Quran about trust. Uh, but uh, what perhaps one of the most important is that if we trust in Allah Ta'ala, Allah Ta'ala will be enough for us in all circumstances. And Allah Ta'ala asks us to trust him if we are believers. And Rabbul Mashriq wal Maghrib la ilaha illa huwa fattakhiz huwa keela. So Allah Ta'ala says that he is in control of the east and the west. He, know, he has power over everything. Try to get his help instead of trying to seek other sources for support. So one of the consequences of this is that we should never have regrets over what might have been. Because Allah Ta'ala says, says مَا أَسَابَ مِن مُسِيبَةٍ فِي الْأَرْزِ وَلَا فِي أَنفَسِكَمْ إِلَّا فِي كِتَابٍ مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ نَبْرَأَهَا إِنَّ ذَلِكَ لَلَّهِ يَسِيرٍ so everything that bad that happens has already been written. There was no way that we could avoid it. So to think that, oh, if I had only done this, uh, suppose somebody is in a car, is in a car accident. Suppose that I had taken some other route or maybe if I had slammed on the brakes or something like that, this is just useless. If it's written for you, it would have to happen. And uh, Allah Ta'ala says that this is so that you do not, uh, you do not become sad about what might have been. And also, if you get something, <clears throat> you do not become proud that I have earned this. This was written for you also. So once we learn to have trust in Allah Ta'ala, we will not have any anxiety or worry. We will carry out the orders of Allah and put our trust that he will create the best of situations. And even if what happens is very, appears very harmful, uh, we should learn to believe that Allah Ta'ala has a hidden great khair in them. So my father used to tell a story about how he was going for, for a, uh, admission to an engineering college and he had a large amount of money with him, which had been given to him as my father. And then some pickpocket picked his pocket and he had no money left. And he felt ashamed to go back to his father. So he took admission in a very low grade um, university compared very well, low ranked English uh, university, which the tuition was cheap. And that eventually led to a very highly favorable outcome, much better than those which the engineers in his batch got to. So many times very bad things happen, but Allah Ta'ala is hidden in those bad things, very big blessings. And there are many stories which teach us this lesson. So we should just learn to believe that if something bad has happened, Allah Ta'ala has hidden some great blessing in this. All troubles occur for a reason. One of the awliyaullah said that sometimes you are put into difficulty and it causes forgiveness of his, of his sins. And this is a great blessing in the Akhirah because you will not be tested for them. And Allah Ta'ala mentions in the Quran that sometimes we turn peop, uh, give trouble to people so that they will turn towards me. So this is also Allah Ta'ala is calling you towards him. If we are in trouble, then we turn to Allah with uh, khulus in our hearts and we ask from the bottom of our hearts, Oh Allah Ta'ala, help me. And this itself is a great blessing. And sometimes there are no sins and people are already like the prophets, wassalam, they are also facing great troubles, but they have no sins and they are already in close communication with Allah Ta'ala. So in these cases, the trouble is to elevate their degrees, to give them higher status, higher rank. So in all cases, any trouble, any problem that comes to us is a source of great blessing for us. So um, there are great promises of Allah Ta'ala and we should learn to trust these promises more than in money and in power and in circumstances. Today, we think that a big doctor will help me and uh, I have a lot of money, I can use that. No, we should put our trust in the promises of Allah. And whoever trusts Allah, Allah Ta'ala will be enough for him. And if we have taqwa, Allah Ta'ala will find a way for us out, us out of any difficulty. And this way will be from where we do not expect. This is a very strange thing that the, we are used to thinking about asbab. Uh, this means and that means, but those are all visible. Allah Ta'ala will find us a way. Without the asbab, he will uh, create a way just like he created a way for Musa alayhi salam 
by parting the, the waters. So this promise is like that, that it will not seem like there is any way, but Allah Ta'ala will create a path for us if we have taqwa. So this is the end of part one on um, 